All right, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what I think is the real reason TV broadcasters are so eager to shut down the current over-the-air TV standard ATSC-1 and move to full use of ATSC-3 next-gen TV. So make sure you watch and listen to the full video before drawing any conclusions. If you have not heard yet, the National Association of Broadcasters, which is the largest lobby group representing TV and radio broadcasters in the U.S., has petitioned the FCC to set a firm shutoff date for the current over-the-air TV standard, ATSC-1, and go full in on ATSC-3 next-gen TV. Sometime between February of 2028 and February of 2030. So over the next three to five years, broadcasters want a full transition to next-gen television with the elimination of ATSC-1 altogether. But remember that this is nothing but a proposal at this point. No decision has been made yet, and that's very important to understand. I made a detailed video about this petition from the broadcasters to the FCC. So if you want to learn more about that situation, I urge you to watch my original video on this topic. Link in the description. Now, the first reason that probably comes to the mind of most viewers is that ATSC3 is simply a way to impose DRM encryption on TV channels and turn over the air TV into a paid tier system, meaning broadcasters could charge money for viewing over the air TV received with a TV antenna, which is certainly a possibility with this technology. It would be possible to turn over the air TV into pay TV if broadcasters wish to do so with next gen TV, but I don't think that's the primary reason for the switchover. I think it might be part of it, but I think the real reason that broadcasters want to shut down ATSC 1 and move full speed ahead with ATSC 3 or next gen TV is so they can make room on their spectrum bandwidth for something called data casting. If you've never heard of data casting, it's a way of broadcasting data or information over the air using TV frequencies without the need for an internet connection. It will allow broadcasters to disperse information of all kinds to many devices at once over the TV airwaves. By shutting down ATSC-1 and moving to only ATSC-3 next-gen TV, which uses TV spectrum much more efficiently, broadcasters will have a lot of spectrum left that they can use for data casting services, and this is potentially a huge moneymaker for TV stations because they can use this for all kinds of purposes. This is why they're so eager to set a date to shut down ATSC-1 TV signals because then they can free up all that spectrum and they can rent or lease the spectrum to companies that need data or information dispersed to many people at once without the need for internet. And this could include any of the following potential uses. Image files, text files, audio and video files, real-time traffic updates, alternative driving routes, enhanced GPS, public meeting schedules, information about local services or events, alerting local citizens to weather and civil emergencies, or other local safety threats and public safety announcements. Universities and colleges can also use data casting to distribute educational lessons, resources, and updates to students without the need for internet. And probably the most important to the broadcasters would be to sell targeted advertising space to their customers to have ads delivered to devices over data casting. Broadcasters stand to make billions of dollars on this particular capability of ATSC3, which really has nothing to do with providing free over-the-air television to the public. Data casting could be a huge moneymaker for local TV stations, most of which are owned by big media companies such as Nexstar, Scripps, Gray Media, and Sinclair. This is going to be a multi-billion dollar revenue stream for TV stations. Now, even though data casting certainly has the ability to serve the public good through weather and safety alerts or other emergency announcements, I think the majority of data casting is simply going to be a commercial venture that's going to make TV stations a lot of money. 
So I think this is really what is at the heart of this sudden urgency of broadcasters to set a firm date to shut down ATSC One TV. I think it really has to do with them freeing up Spectrum so they can implement data casting as a huge revenue stream for local TV stations. I do think that data casting itself is a very cool concept, but if broadcasters are going to use it and the public airwaves as a leverage point to generating a whole bunch of revenue, then they should be required to provide free over-the-air TV signals that are unencrypted as a condition of holding a public broadcast license. Look in the description of this video for more information about data casting and its role in the potential shutdown of ATSC-1 over-the-air television. That's it for this video. Stay tuned to my channel for more updates.